Good morning, interwebs. It is a time. That time is 12.48, and today is my birthday. So anyways, he um obviously got home from work while I was still sleeping, though I was interrupted during my evening by a sick child, and by evening, I mean this morning, um, throwing up, which is not fun. Um, both that he was throwing up and to be woken up by that. Very disconcerting. So, I did go back to sleep though. Steve got home. He has been hanging out with the children and doing all of that. I came in here for a reason. Oh, I meant to come in here. Uh, anyways, they uh, clearly the breakfast casserole was at least serviceable because it was consumed. And I got, Steve, I said that we would probably just have his treat for lunch and then I will make vegan meatloaf for dinner because all the other options we come up with with the um, food we have on hand are not so great for a sick kid so this is what the cake looks like right now so I showed you last night I made the cake and then I spread one of those 1.75 quart boxes of strawberry ice cream over the top and then like I let that ice cream thaw and then I spread it instead of doing the weird like cutting and stacking and whatever thing that I'd read about online and then I just drizzled the fudge which I'd heated in the microwave over the top and everything has been frozen. Now I have a little bit of heavy whipping cream left from making the grasshopper pie so I'm going to whip that up and put it on top because well why not right? So that is what I'm doing at this very moment. Here's the finished product just need to light the candles and round up a birthday boy. Yay! Yay! That was too true. I could still do it. <laughs> and now we get to eat cake. Yum. Yum. So it is 3.01 and Steve just went to bed. And we were talking about it and I was commenting that it was time for celebratory birthday nap. And he said that he would seed his celebratory birthday nap to me. You know, because he's just going to bed. And that was very kind of him. But then he's even nicer because he, he said, should I set the couch up? So he put the pillows and he got me a blanket. And despite the fact I have only been up for like three hours, I think I am. I'm going to lay down, watch some YouTube, take a bit of a nap. I uh, told you our son is sick. And probably so he threw up for me a, like three or four times this morning. And then he threw up for Steve at least once, if not twice. But he is now sleeping and happy and... The other two are napping as well, but I commented to Steve that when I was laying in bed, I was just like, oh my goodness. I was having that feeling of like, I can't peel myself out of bed. So then mentally I'm like laying there. I'm like, okay, let's like figure this out. Like what's going on? And I was like, it's funny though. I'm not having the emotional, like I can't peel myself out of bed problem, which I have with often enough frequency. I was like, no, physically, like my body just feels heavy. And Steve says his is feeling the same way. So I think there's a good chance that our whole family has some sort of bug. So like I said, I'm going to lay down and hopefully like holding this camera, like it's just very heavy in my arm and blurg. We went out with the people and, you know, we went to story time in the library, which is just in Walmart, which is just a cesspool of sick. So I'm going to lay down, take a little rest, and hopefully I will be feeling a bit better or at least have done some good for myself by the time the kids get up from rest time. I was also noticing as I was looking out the window here, can you see how green the wheat has gotten? Oh, it's already turning beautiful out there. And there's some little buds too on our tree or on our uh, lilac bushes. Let's see. Is it just going to show me screen? Open up there. What past the screen? Okay. Let's see if this will focus. There we go. We've also got some buds on the lilac bushes. So there was snow on Tuesday. By Thursday, we have buds. Crazy. That's spring for you. Oh, it is. Oh, my nose is dripping. Ah, huh, excuse me. So it is like 1.30 in the morning and I'm sitting on the floor wiping my drippy nose. Yeah, I changed my clothes so that way, well, I changed the clothes you can see on camera because I'm still wearing my pajamas and my pajama shirts underneath, but that way I could film a yarn haul. Um, I finally got around to filming the yarn haul from Joann's and um, 
yeah. Ordinarily, I don't really care. Y'all see me. I look like crap all the time on the vlogs, and that's all right with me. Y'all know me. You're like family, kind of. Um, but I feel like my haul somehow, I assume it's because it's a searchable term, like, what I think of is random people watch it, which is awesome, and some people go from that point to them being like family and watching the daily vlogs. But my general haul video doesn't need to be a thumbnail of me looking like crap. So, it probably should just be a thumbnail of my yarn, because that's what people want to see. So I'm sitting on the floor, as you can see, yarn all around me, and that haul video will be up the same day this vlog goes up, so you can see it then. And I've been just sitting here doing random things tonight. Um, I took a nap, like I told you, because Steve seeded his birthday nap to me, and that was very kind, and I enjoyed it. Um, and clearly it was much needed. Um, the kids woke up, and I kind of kept sleeping, and clearly they were all still really tired, because I had a YouTube playlist playing, and they just came and sat on the couch around me and watched my vlogs. Like, not my vlogs, but the vlogs I watch. Um, and they weren't necessarily, like, their favorites, but they were just happily watching them quietly, so everyone was feeling mighty low-key. Um, the four-year-old, who's the one that got sick this morning, seems to be feeling better, but my three-year-old had the world's scratchiest, hoarsest voice as he went to sleep, and it kept getting progressively louder as he was refusing to finally go to sleep. So, we'll see how that all plays out in the morning. Um, but I've just been sitting here, I've been trying to get motivated to work on work. Like, I have some designs I've done, but I'm very, very discouraged right now. And I was debating whether I should talk about it or not. But I'm going to guess that the people involved don't watch anyways. And if they do, it's probably not terrible for them to know I'm discouraged. And I also was thinking about, like, why do I vlog? Well, it's kind of like free therapy. It's a cathartic experience. Tell you all how I feel. You listen or don't. But that part isn't so important to me. It's more the saying it all out loud. So, that I would just talk about it. Because it's not like, I mean, it's not offensive or anything. It's just kind of what's going on in my head. So, I feel like I'm at a standstill with, like, putting up patterns and stuff. Because, as you all know, you saw me kind of bust my butt before I went to California to get all those patterns finished. Like, I filmed what was it, eight patterns in 10 days that I finished the design. And I mean, it obviously took me longer than 10 days to design all the patterns, but I made samples, I filmed videos, I did all that, and I was compensated. And so from that standpoint, I'm not upset. Like the financial compensation, I'm cool. But those videos, part of the reason I was like trying to get them out was because they were St. Patrick's Day themed. And yes, rainbow items, are kind of a general theme, especially, goodness, living here in Kansas, rainbows and sunflowers are like year-round staples here in the land of Oz. So that is um, not a problem. But there were St. Patrick's items, which have the patterns have not gone out. So nobody has seen them. And St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow or today when you're watching this, and they're still sitting on a computer somewhere which is only really frustrating because I put a lot of time and energy into them and having them done on time to have them not released in what seems like on time to me. So that's difficult. Well, and what's more difficult is right now I have a batch of what are essentially spring leaning toward Easter patterns that I have done the design samples for and I have the things for. And I just need to finish Obviously, I need to film the tutorials, but some of them will be fairly brief, and I need to finish up the formatting. But, like, Easter's in a month, which is still plenty of crafting time and, like, the perfect time to post these things. But I know that even if I stretch myself to get it done and focus on that, they're not going to go up in time for Easter. So I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And it's very frustrating and it's really not helping to motivate me because I'm clearly motivated by a deadline. Like panic is my best motivator, which is kind of funny because anxiety is like my worst thing for motivation. But panic and anxiety are apparently separate things in this instance. But like, yeah, I work well up to a deadline. 
most of the time I can procrastinate until we're just about there and then I can do the work. But like, I don't really have a deadline doing this stuff. It's all very free form, which is kind of cool. But then I like set up an artificial deadline for myself. I meet it and things still don't come through on time. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that, but I'm frustrated. And so I haven't been getting this stuff done that I probably should have done. But I haven't gotten it done because then I'm just going to be even more frustrated. Because there's going to be an even bigger backlog. Because my Valentine's patterns didn't finish coming out till like last week. Valentine's was a month ago. So, I don't know. Um, yeah. But I was also playing around with my blog. Blog with a B as opposed to vlog with a V. <laughs> Which I had started, before I started daily vlogging, Steve and I, well, a long time ago in a YouTube channel, which is the exact same one, but by a different name, I started doing such nice work crocheting episodes. And then I decided I wanted to change up my format after I quit working at my other jobs in town and that I wanted to do like daily posting to YouTube or several times a week with different topics. So Steve and I were kind of working on that semi-successfully, but we we're trying to do it together, which even vlogging together sometimes is not as successful as one would hope. But um, that is neither here nor there. But I then started daily vlogging on a whim for Vlogus last year and enjoyed it and decided I would keep it up through the year and indefinitely till it stopped being fun. And so far it is not stopped being fun. Now there are times when I am more or less um, inclined to make it happen or when I feel more compelled to talk to the camera or frankly I've kind of figured out when I don't talk to other like grown-up types a lot then I have more to say to you. I think this is a problem when I was on vacation is that I get a little talked out because that's a lot of interaction for me with people and it's just exhausting. <laughs> and then this is just one more interaction. And usually this is like the right amount of interaction for me. But anyways, um, so then I started daily vlogging. But before we started daily vlogging, in addition to posting multiple times a week on YouTube, I was going to start daily blogging on my website blog. So I kind of started doing that and I only think I did it for like two weeks. And it was going all right, but then daily vlogging started and it was even better. So, but I didn't have time to do all of it. So I just kept with the daily vlogging and dropped blogging at all. But I was thinking about a lot on the drive back and forth for our vacation that I kind of miss it and I kind of would like to do some more of it. And there's a lot of things I talk about on here that I have more to say about, especially like after I'll mention something in passing, then I'll either think more usually about like the emotional and like the feelings stuff and also about the crafty stuff. Um, but I will then have more to say about it or things where it would be useful to have references. Like if I'm telling you about a book or an idea, will it be useful if I could like put a picture of that book or link you to something else about the topic? I don't know. So I've been considering doing a little more blogging um, just as a thing. And so I was playing at the blog tonight and I figured out how to link my YouTube videos to it, which I've been having issues doing. I don't know why, because it was stupid easy, which just made me feel really stupid because that's what stupid easy things do. They make you feel stupid. Um, so now my uh, blog has all the videos have been linked that had not been there before. And I'm thinking I might start trying to write some things for it because I went back and I was rereading the posts because in my head I had just kind of decided that the posts were terrible anyways so whatever then I kind of read them and I kind of liked them so I don't know that might be a thing I haven't decided if it's a thing yet it's thing adjacent right now so the cats are just walking around me in circles it's silly but anyways I need to go and put this yarn away and probably work on some yarny things for a few more hours here. But I think I will let you go now so I can finish putting the vlog together and get it uploaded so that you will see it at noon tomorrow, whether I am awake or not. And I will see you tomorrow. Nighty night.